Hi, we'd like to welcome you to Wild Wednesday Live, actually on Wednesday. It's been a while since we've done it on a Wednesday, since we've been at shows and Cyber Monday. So much fun we had on Cyber Monday. Um, but if you missed it, you can always go back and watch it. Hey, Sherry, how are you? Thank you, Norma, for sharing. Um, I, I want to remind you, well, first, First things first, um, I'm Beth Watts with Fabric Chicks in Gardnerville, Nevada. I'm your host today. Um, Raylene's going to be on a little bit later, so it's kind of exciting. You're going to get both of us today. Um, and you know, we love to do, if you're new to watching, um, we love to do roll call. So just type in where you're from. We have Brenda from Cupertino, um, Peggy from Modesto. Oh, well, not really Modesto. She hasn't typed it in yet. I'm totally lying, but that area. Um, but we've got Mojave, Arizona, Southern California, people from all over. I'm waiting to see somebody from like somewhere exotic. Um, anyways, we are um, welcome to the Quilt Craft Sew Mall um, Wild Wednesday Live. We do this every Wednesday, except for when we're at a show. Um, and when we're at a show, we do it live from the, the show floor. So you can follow us, program it into your phones. You can do this all year long. So it's kind of exciting. We try... Oh, Fort Mojave is exotic. Yes, I agree. I agree. Um, but we've got several vendors on today. So what we do is we interview vendors from um, from our shows so that they can keep um, everything fresh in your minds of what they demo, what they're selling. And a lot of times at the shows, we're so busy and overwhelmed and um, and so over-inspired that it's hard to take it all in. So we see things, but we might kind of miss a booth or whatnot. So this kind of gives you a deeper look into what the vendors really do offer. So it's a fun way to spend your Wednesday afternoon. So thank you for joining us, but please uh, make sure that you share with all of your guilds. Here we have American Sewing Guild from Orange County on. We're so excited to see you. Um, share with your guilds, share with your friends, even the people you don't really like, share with them um, because that just makes it so that we can get more vendors that want to join us. So you know how that goes. It's all about sharing in today's techie age. Um, so we are going to, I'm going to just turn it, well, first I'm going to say what the door prices are, because if you're new to watching, you're going to want to watch. Um, kind of two thirds through the show, we give you a secret word and um, you type that in and you get entered into the drawing. So the vendors that we interview, they, um, they donate very graciously, donate prizes. Even if you don't necessarily buy from them, you're still gonna win prizes. So when that, when I give you the code word, you're gonna type in um, what the code word is and you'll be automatically entered into the drawings. Um, and we have from Cruise and Quilts, Quilt As You Go um, Pet Placemats, which we are gonna get a demo on. Um, Handy Caddies doing a free pair of leggings. Um, Wild Wednesday Live, because Raylene is so generous, way more generous than I am. So thank God she's the other half of me. Um, she's got two Wild Wednesday mugs um, and a goodie bag from Just Notions, which is also Raylene, and from Coulter's Haven, which is also Raylene, two patriotic digital panels. So um, so we got lots of good, good giveaways. So stay tuned. Um, and I'm going to um, just uh, turn it right over to Sharon from Handy Caddy. Are you there, Sharon? I believe I am. Can you how, see me? Can you hear you? me? You. Yep, I can hear you. It's good to see you. Good. Thank you. It's good to see you, too. Yes. All um, right. It's pretty crazy us? around here. I expect it to be crazy because I'm just going, kind of going along with the same vibration that's happening since before I got here. And um, I thought that the best thing for me to demonstrate was the bowl cozies because there's still a little bit more time if you want to make some more gifts for your friends and family. And um, I offer a bowl cozy tutorial that will come with any order that you um, purchase here at the sh uh, from Wild Wednesdays. So I thought I'd do a little demo using the tutorial so that you could um, check it out. Now, uh, my assistant in the back said that he's going to help me switch my screen so that I could actually show you a little bit more of how that works. So here we go. Yay. Good job. I have my screen. I can move that out of the way. I can kind of point this at you. This is my first crack at um, demonstrating with two screens 
So bear with me. Um, so here we go. What you're going to need for your bowl cozy tutorial are two 10 inch square um, cotton fabric. Don't put in, don't use any fabric that has any metallic um, fiber in it, obviously, because if you're going to put it in the microwave, you're going to spark and start a fire. So always remember no metal in your fabric. And also you're going to need two leftover pieces of 10 inch um, batting. Sorry about that. I, I'm switching gears from uh, being someplace else. Anyway, here we go. Two 10 inch fabrics of um, cotton fabric and then the two battings. Now I'm not gonna do the sewing, I'm gonna do kind of a, a basic um, tutorial because I wanna stay with you. You actually can make a bold cozy in about 15 minutes. So what I just did was I'm gonna layer one batting with one square. And prior to uh, putting these two pieces together, you can see that I used, I pressed uh, my, my, my X and you can actually press on the diagonal. So you don't have to mark it. So you're going to press that with, uh, with your iron. Now I will show you the bowl cozies already made. You guys, because you sew, you probably have seen them, but if you look carefully, you're going to see um, the stitching, the X, what I would call this an X and a cross. So that's going to stabilize your batting with the cotton fabric together. And you're going to make two of them. So you could see this side has one fabric and this one has the other. So we'll, I'll go back to that again. <clears throat> so what helps to, to sew your X's and your crosses is that ironed registration mark so you can avoid having to mark it. And I'm going to do the same with this one. And maybe I don't need to rush so much because I have 15 minutes and I really want to just share the bold cozy idea with you. And I did make a tutorial. If you can look um, on the bottom of the screen, you're probably going to see the website. So if you go to the website, I actually created a little sign for my wild Wednesday ladies to uh, know where to go on my website. So here we got two of these together and you're going to go to the sewing machine and you're going to sew your X and then you're also going to sew your, um, oh, that was the cross. This is the X, right? So I wish that I had a sample of the stitching already done, but I didn't. But if you can just imagine that we have that X and the cross. Um, and I know that we're running out of time, so I don't want to take that time to, to do this. Okay. So now imagine that this is already done. This is the stitching guide that I wanted to show you. And I'll send one of these to you with any order. I'm going to cut on this line. I don't know. Can you see that? We're going to cut this off. It's basically marking two and a half inches up and one and a half inches over. You can test the measurement. Actually, some of my cards was made um, a little bit off, but you can go ahead and just measure in an inch and a quarter and two and a half inches up, and you're going to cut this off. All right, so that you can throw away. So you need to make darts for your cozy in order to 
curve, make it make a curve up. So once you've made your your X and your cross, it's going to look like this, and you're going to need to line this up. I don't know. Can you see that? You're going to need to line it up like that. And rather than marking it, just take this to the sewing machine and just stitch right alongside that. And you're going to flip it over and you're going to also do the same. Put that like that and sew right alongside like that. And I have um, on my website, there's a tutorial, there's a link on YouTube where I demonstrate how you, how you do this. And once you put all your darts together, you're gonna put your pretty side facing together and you're gonna stitch all the way around. So when you stitch all the way around, you'll wanna start about an inch away from the corner and pivot. Continue to go all the way around, all the way to the other side and leave an opening so you, you can turn it inside out. Then after it's turned inside out, it's really quite well hidden where that beginning and ending started. You're gonna turn in the side somewhere and I, I can't find it on mine so it works quite well uh, another tip is to make sure that you make a scant um, batting side so that you don't have four layers of fabric that you're having to um, fight with when you turn it inside out so now we're getting to the top of the hour like I said you're going to get this bold cozy tutorial free with every purchase um, I wanted to demonstrate something just a little bit new because I have so many different things. I found these amazing scissors that are super, super sharp. And if you need something that has like a bigger handle for your hands, because some of those little fine little scissors have little holes in them. This is really, really nice. They are made in China, but their blades are really nice and sharp and they really, really do a good job at snipping. So I'm just going to do a sh little demo. I think that I can get close to the camera, but I just wanted to show you how nice these things snip. And these are good for snipping your darts or snipping all that bunched up fabric in your batting. So these are going to be found there. Oh, you might want to know what they are. They're normally $20, but they're uh, $12 online. You'll see them on the front page of the website um, under arrivals, and they're discounted to $12. And the gold one with the gold handle, which does the same kind of thing, it's very, very accurate, makes it really easy to snip those little pieces. I use it for making masks, mostly for making masks. But anyway, check these out. These are 14, these are 12, and there's all kinds of other discounts. Leg, legs 20, I'm gonna put that right here. I'm, this is my note that I didn't really use very well, but legs 20 is the discount to get 20% off of any leggings, but the Christmas leggings are still on sale for $15. So check it out. I think I've run over my time and I want to give other uh, the other viewers or the other vendors their chance to demonstrate. So um, Merry Christmas, everybody. I really appreciate being able to Wait. be with you. And thanks um. again. Sharon, can you just hold up your sign one more time? Because it part of it was cut off. Okay. Does it? Is it? Oh, let's see. What am I doing here? Oh. Uh, here. There, there. Okay. Wait. Yep. Yeah, wait. To the yeah. Right there. Right. And then just <laughs> toward the camera, straight onto your warrior camera. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, girls. 
That's as good as it gets. Um, and, and we do have several questions for you, but ladies, um, I think Sharon, are you gonna come back on at the end and answer questions? Yes, and I'll hop on my computer okay. and see if I can answer in that questions, questions and answers um, area. Okay, and I sounds good. To the end. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thanks, Thank you so much, Sharon. That was a good lesson. And I think it's true. We do need to make quick little gifts and give them to people that are not really, you know, people that you don't, you know, just need a little pick me up. Just give them something simple like that. You'll make their day. Um, and I think that's kind of more what this time of year is about than going and buying expensive gifts. Although if it's for me, go ahead and buy the expensive gifts. No, I'm just kidding. I love homemade things. Um, okay, so next we have Linda from Cruise and Quilts. Um, she's going to demo a quilt as you go placemat, which always seems confusing to me. So I hope it makes sense. Hi there. How are you? Hi, I'm doing good. How's everybody out there? I think they're doing great. I don't know. I, ho I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, I am so excited to show you these June Taylor products that we Perfect. actually love. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to just turn it right over to you. All right. And we'll see you in a bit. All right. So I am Linda Cruzy and I am in Coos Bay, Oregon. Hello, Medford. That's my old stomping ground. Go Crater Comets. And I was lived in the city of Orange. So Orange County Quilt Guild. Hello to you because I'm a I consider myself an Orange Orange City girl. All right. So I absolutely love these June Taylor products. And we are going to give you 25% off on all of the June Taylor products that we have in our store. You do not need any code. All you have to do is pop on over to our website to get that deal. But what I am going to demo is these cute pet placemats. This is for our kitty lovers. This is so easy to do. You could whip these out in a heartbeat in less than a couple hours, maybe an hour. Hi, Kathleen. Oh, I, I, I do. I am a city. I am a, I am an Orange County girl. All right. And then we also have the dog bone, but I'm going to show you what you are going to get in these kits here is the pre-printed batting. And this is fusible and this is a stitch and flip project. I'm going to flip my camera over to my sewing machine so that you can see what we are going to do here. And I'm going to show that to you. So I've got right now, I have this all set up. This is fusible and this is fused to my backing fabric. And this is my placemat here for the dog bone. I've already pre-cut all my pieces. These are our placement nut lines, not our stitching lines. So I have fussy cut this cute Lorelei dog fabric out so that I have this dog house right in the center of my, and I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a dog barking in the background here in our store. But we're gonna place number one. Then we're going to look here. We've got number two. I don't know if you can see that, but we've got number two. I'm going to flip this light. Oh, no, that don't help. We've got number two. I've pre-cut my fabric for that. All right. Yeah, my camera is not cooperating. Let's see if I can lock it down. I've pre-cut my piece here. I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to center it and you'll notice, look at my little dot. We're going to call these dog ears. They are equally distance between there. I'm going to come to my sewing machine. Now this is a blind quarter inch. I do not have my line here to see, but I am just going to stitch this right across there. Just like that. If you don't do a perfect quarter inch, it's okay. Oh, and I didn't. Look, I've got a little bit of line there. I might have to go back and stitch that. I'm trying to hold my camera at the same time. We're just going to go around to each number and add our fabrics on as we go. 
So this is super easy project. And then let me flip this back around again so you can look at the finished product. Get that camera out of the way, which isn't being helpful. You have the option on the, so on this puppy dog placemat, we have actually used a half inch bias, which you can buy, which works on our kitty placemat. Stitch and Go from our June Taylor, we actually cut bias. Now, if you go over to our free um, area on our website, you are going to see how to cut bias. We've got a free tutorial over there and you can cut the bias. I personally prefer to cut my own bias, but honestly, if you wanna use the pre-cut bias, that works too. All of these are 25% off. So those are for our cat loving and dog loving friends. And I'm a dog lover. I have two little pupperdoos here in our store. The other thing we have that is super cute and super fast that is a June Taylor and going to be on sale for 25% off for our Wild Wednesday is the June Taylor. Now they call these cosmetic bags, but they don't have to be cosmetic bags. This could be for color crayons. You could do this up in any kind of fabric. We've done it up in a gnome fabric. This is the Zippity Do Done Zipper, Easy Zipper Solution. And I have, my helper is with a customer, so I don't have my helper handing me my goodies today. So basically you are gonna get the pre-printed batting to make two bags. We've started the small one here and look at these zippers. They have a great piece of um, I want to call it bias. It's like bias. It's just like the bias you buy in the package, only it's whiter. And what you're going to do with this is when you have this all, just like I showed you the pet placemat, stitch and quilt as you go, you are just going to, I'm going to flip my, no, I'm not going to flip my camera around. You're just going to insert this right here. into their into your batting and we've got the backing it's all quilted and you're just going to stitch right along the edge now you can do a decorative stitch you could do just a straight stitch we've done just a straight stitch these are normally oh. okay my assistant where are you these, I believe, are normally $24.95, but we have them on sale for 25% off on our website. No code needed. And in that package, you are going to get the pre-printed batting for two bags plus two of the zippity Do done zipper solutions. You're going to get a small one and a large one. Did I say the right right price? Oh, my little assistant back here is saying I said the right price on those. So 25% off of that, um, of those. Now they call them a makeup bag, but honestly, these could be for anything. And you're gonna get two in here. This is the large size, which is, which is a good size. We've added our little car logo zipper pull, but we have also have other fun zipper pulls. And then this is the small size. So we are going to, we're making some up. We're going to do one for one of our grandkids for her Pokemon cards and the other one for her makeup. So these could be for color crayons or anything. They make up super easy. A homemade gift is so much better. Also, because we're doing a June Taylor thing, we have not made this up yet, but this is the triple play. You are going to get in this, the fusible to pre-printed fusible to make a crossover bag, a wine tote or a water bottle carrier and a tablet carrier. Now this comes, 
this is not batting. It is a fusible interfacing and it is a very nice weight. It comes with all three of those. You do have to supply your own fabrics, but those again are 25% off. So everything that's June Taylor is 25% off. Go to our website and click on shop and click on the June Taylor link and you can see all of our June Taylor products at 25% off. Also, oh, one more item. We have this cool sew as you go or quilt as you go sewing machine cover, another June Taylor product, stitch and flip like we showed you. I love stitch and flip, no quilting involved. This is a sewing machine cover and a little caddy. This is normally $24.99. It's gonna be 25% off. You get the batting and the handle part for this. And it comes in a small, you can do it either small, medium, or large for your machine, depending on how large of a machine you have. So we have those also. One more thing that we have for you. I'm trying to make sure I don't go too long. Anyone that orders between now and Friday is going to get one of our gorgeous shopping bags that we have. I love that they have a little pocket. And these bags are filled with goodies. So this is a Christmas special that we have just for our Wild Wednesday customers. If you order on this special, we are going to ship you one of our shopping bags filled with goodies for you to have a great holiday season. So don't forget Make sure that you go to our website, look up our June Taylor products. We love all these. And yes, the zipper is all ready to sew in. Check this out. I'm going to show it to you one more time. You have this great flange. You just sew that in. This is the easiest zipper you are ever going to have to put in. All right, Beth, that's all I have. I'm going to let... Take Perfect. Okay, that was quite a bit. That was super fun, and you made it look so easy. Like I think it even I so can do it. Yes, it so easy. Yes. All right, and they're great deals. Uh, girls, go shop, but not yet. Wait until after this program, and then go shop. All right, we'll see you in a bit when we bring you back for the Brady Bunch style questions and answers. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, all right. So, um, you know, we try to do a couple of tips or tricks um, during the show because we always want to keep everything um, educational because, you know, that's part of what keeps us young is we're always learning something. So one thing I know that everybody struggles with is what if you buy Aurifil threads that you don't know where it starts, right? Aurifil thread. It's really nice. It's like the best thread you can money can buy pretty much. Um, there's a little trick. You just twist off the bottom. Did you see that, girls? I'm going to put it back. Okay. See there? You twist off the bottom and that's where your thread starts. So you can just wind it up, put it back there when you're finished. This is my problem. I know where to find it when I want to start. But then when I'm finished, I don't take the time to wind it back up, put the bottom back on, and then it, you're not going to have loose threads everywhere. So that's the first tip. And then the second tip, because I like to look up like old tiny um, uh, tips and tricks, like what did my grandma used to do? Well, I didn't personally look it up, but I have a helper who looked it up for me. And she says, I know, Sharon, that's like the best tip of the day is the thread. Um, so Christy looked up um, tips and tricks for me today, and she found that, um, and this is like the most inexpensive tip I'm ever going to give you. Um, use a bar of soap to hold your pins. Um, it makes them glide through your fabric smoother. So I'm not sure if this is really accurate because I've never tried it. So next week or the week after, whenever I host again, or whenever I talk to you, I want everybody to let me know how it works with the soap. Um, it, whether it really does glide, you know, there's all kinds of folk tales like put your pins into a pin cushion with your hair because the oils are important, all kinds of creepy things. Um, I think a bar of soap is, Christy's laughing at me back here. I think a bar of soap might sound a little bit better than, you know, a pin cushion full of old hair. Um, but so that's that. That's all my tips for today. But I do have a code word, December. 
So December is um, the word you want to type in right now. So if you're new to watching, if you type in December, you get automatically entered into the drawings of which we have um, all the vendors that demo. They, um, they donate door prizes and they ship them to you. It's amazing. It just shows up on your front doorstep. Um, from Cruising Quilts, we have a Quilt As You Go pet placemat. Um, Handy Caddy Sharon, we have a free pair of leggings. And then from Wild Wednesday Live, we have two Wild, uh, two wild Wednesday mugs, um, Just Notions, a goodie bag, and Quilters Haven, two patriotic digital panels. Because um, Raylene is super generous. Um, but that's, that's it for that. Keep typing it in. I can see you girls are still typing in December. December, December, December. Um, Type that in so you can be entered into the drawings. If you ever miss a show, you can always go to our YouTube channel um, and and view. Even you might have watched a demo and you want a refresher, you can go to the YouTube channel and you can watch it. You know, once it's out there on the internet, it's out there for life. I always tell my kids, be careful what you put out there. Ho luckily, it's just demos for us. Anyways, um, Oh, now, now look at Peggy. I'm like, hey, Gracie, I'm on a live. Look, Gracie just got home from school. Thank you, Gracie. Um, okay, so next we're going to have um, Raylene from Just Notions. Raylene, are you there? I am. I'm laughing. Ron and I are totally cracking up at Gracie. Sorry. <laughs> Kids, you know what? They just show up when they show up. Right. They do. They do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. I can tell you, when we're done, I'm going to go take the bottoms off all my thread. I never knew that. Well, I think it's only Aurafil. Well, I, yeah, exactly. But yes. yeah. I know. You fight go. trying to find where it starts. And then you cut into it and you wreck like seven layers. Yeah. We've Especially if you're blind like me. Yeah, we've all been there. Okay. So Raylene won't tell me what she's demoing. So I can't really do an introduction. Um, so I'm excited <laughs> to see what it's going to be. All right, Raylene, well, let's. Let's see what you I'm got. Gonna, I'm going to demo at the end, but because I want to, first I have some specials that I want to share that are really good for last minute Christmas. Um, but before we do that, I just want to let you guys know that next Wednesday at five o'clock Pacific, so a couple hours after our live show, I'm going to be doing an online sample sell. I have a bunch of beautiful miniature samples that we're going to do auction style like you, a lot of you guys have done with Beth in the past. But here's what I need you to do. Whether you're going to participate in this particular sale or not, I'm going to be using this same format for future sales. So if you go to my website, quiltershaven.net, which I believe is scrolling, I'm looking at justnotions.com, either one. And um, when you click on the online store, click on Wild Wednesday. Or actually, I don't even think you have to do that. I'm bad. I'm getting. I'm getting ahead of myself. At the top, on the top bar of the website, there's a thing that says VIP. Click on that, and you can register to be a VIP. And basically, that just means that you're going to go ahead and give me your mailing information, your credit card information, so that if you decide to buy something when we're doing the online auction, I will be able to get that shipped to you like the next day. Now, when you sign up initially, it costs one penny because we have to have some kind of a charge in order to verify the card all that kind of stuff but if you are a member you are then going to get a code to where you will be able to get 10 percent off any purchase all year long on my website and you can also use that discount if you see us at a show um, i'm going to send you a little card or a little keychain or something that shows you're a vip member so that way you don't have to worry about the show trying to you know confirm that you're a member and then there's going to be other little perks and things for you throughout the year so um sometime you know, bet between now and next wednesday be sure you sign up and i hope you'll tune in again Again, it's going to be at five o'clock Pacific next Wednesday, the eighth. Okay, I have some deals for you before I do my demo. Um, we, I'm going to continue having our little hemline uh, gift set. Remember, this has the little thing of needles. It's got a tape measure. It's got a little scissors set. I'm trying to read the little print on the back here. It's, it's got a thimble. Really a pretty little gift. These are normally $24. We have those on sale for $20. And it, this is where I got ahead of myself earlier. If you go to the website, go to the online store, click on Wild Wednesday, all the things I'm going to show you right now will be found there. No code necessary. It is automatically going to give you the sale price through midnight on Friday. So there's our little gift set. And then also we have the two-year patriotic 
planners. I'm going to try to tip this so you don't get the glare. This is a two-year planner. These are really nice because they have nice, whoops, like, let me show you a block. Nice big box to make your notes in. They have all the holidays in the back. There's an address book and a little place for notes. These are normally $5.40, but our special till midnight Friday is $4. Okay, great stocking stuffers. And then if you just need some fun little things, we have the, our little three-pack of keychains. These are rubber. We've got our scissors, our sewing machine, our little tape measure. And these are normally $5.99 for the pack of three, and they're on sale for $4. So those are on there. And then we have... The Yazzie craft bags, uh, Yasmita has shown these on the show a few times. These are so fun. They're a three pack of craft bags. You're going to get an idea of the size by my hand there. That's the smallest one. Um, there's three in a pack. I have either purple or black. These are normally $17.50 and we have them on sale for $14. So these are great little gifts. They're very compact so they're easy if you need to send them off to someone. And then the last special that we have is... We still have a few of these um, by Riley Blake Designs. These were the graph pad hardcover notebook spiral bound for you to keep your notes, do your drawing, do your designing in. Now, these were normally $20, and they are on sale for $15, and I think I only have three left of these, but they are a great gift for yourself or for a friend. And before I demo, just one more thing I want to say. You guys know how many days are left till Christmas. If you are still getting some of those projects done, you're running out of time. I know that was kind of mean to even tell you that, wasn't it? So I want to do a really quick demo, and Ron's going to tip the camera down here. And I wish I had Beth up on screen, too. I think I can kind of see her on his computer, so she starts laughing. But she knows that I have a problem. I can see her laughing. I have a problem with gnomes. I know Mary Vitti, if she's on, she has the same problem as me. These things creep me out so bad but for some reason i just kept being mentally led that i wanted to show you how easy these little ornaments are they are so much fun they're so fast they're great to do with kids and so what we're going to do is you're first going to just you can use jute i've got some just real bulky uh, cheap yarn that i bought at walmart and what you're going to do is you're going to either use a piece of cardboard or your quilters you guys you have squares. So I use my five inch square and I'm just going to hold it at the bottom and I'm going to wrap it around 12 times. So I'm going to stop talking so I can count. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now you want to make sure that you're wrapping it loosely. And I didn't grab my scissors. Can you reach behind you without moving the camera on and grabbing my scissors? I was real prepared today. Hang on. He almost has them. He's stretching. Okay, here's a pair, and then we're just going to cut that off. Now, when you wrap it, you want to wrap it loosely because now we're going to take a piece of cording or if you've got some real thin, like, picture wire, and I like to cut that about 20 inches because I'd rather have left over and cut it off than be fighting with a little piece, and I'm just going to slide that underneath. That's why you want to do it loosely. I'm just going to pull it up to the top, and I'm going to tie a knot to tie it together and hold it together. Once I tie the knot, I'm simply going to slide that off my square or whatever you're using for a template. Take my scissors again and pull down and just cut it apart. These are not the best scissors, but that's okay. So now we have this little mop he head here. So now we are going to take, <coughs> excuse me, a four inch piece of felt, or you can use construction paper or, you know, different uh, heavier fabric, but I like to use felt. We're going to cut that four inches square. Now we're going to lay it in front of us. Hopefully Ron can see this here. And we're going to take our little yarn ball there and we're going to lay it so that the top of it is about, about in the middle. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. Then we're going to bring one side up and around. And as we do that, we want to make sure that up here where the string is coming out, that we're making it come to a point. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, but you're going to bring it over about one third. Then I'm going to take, now normally I would use hot glue, but I don't have a plug here where I'm demoing. So I'm going to show you the other way. And that is just, I'm using a Roxanne's glue stick. And I'm just going to put some glue on there. And then I'm going to wrap it around coming from the other direction. Now this is not going to be instantly held like your glue, like your hot glue would. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick a pin in it while, while I wait for it to dry. Now I'm going to flip it over. 
And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to use like a little pom-pom. And you're just going to hot glue, put a dot there to put his little nose. I like to use just some little decorations. And these are all inexpensive things at the dollar store or at Walmart just to do, you know, the, a little decoration. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll put a bead here at the top just to kind of slide down. So they can, these can either be package ties or they can be tree ornaments. Now, and the way you notice that uh, I've got, this is the size I just made, but this one is a little, whoop, let me pick up the right one. This is a little bit smaller. If you want to make them smaller, just drop, you go from, instead of a five inch square to wrap your yarn around, you do a four. Instead of cutting a four inch square, you cut a three. If you wanted it even smaller, just keep dropping down an inch. If you want them bigger, you just go up an inch. It's that simple. And that is all there is to doing our cute little gnome package ties or ornaments or, you know, just for people that aren't creeped out by gnomes like I am. I had nightmares last night because I made some of the little samples last night uh, before I went to bed. And yeah, it was pretty scary. So, but anyway. I say for somebody who doesn't like gnomes, you spent a <laughs> lot of time and effort on them. Well, I was trying to do something that I knew would make the majority smile even if it you know it made me have nightmares last night but uh and plus i wanted to make you laugh too because i figured you'd laugh when you saw i was said i was doing it, gnomes they, because i make no secret of the fact that gnomes creep me out <laughs> they're, they're super adorable and they're great they can do them with their grandkids they they're can do so them in, while watching tv yeah in, in all honesty i mean i bought a ton of stuff to do them because of course i couldn't find i have all this stuff but do you think i could find it yesterday when i wanted to do the samples yeah. so I went to Walmart and I spent less than $10 and I got enough to make a hundred of these things. So, I mean, it's right. really an inexpensive, it's fun. And, you know, again, if you're doing with littles and you don't want them to use the hot glue, just let them do the glue stick, stick a pin in. Um, I did a couple of these with the Roxanne's glue and after about an hour, the glue was dry and they're on there good. Just, you know, one straight pin will hold it until it's ready to go. Right, right. That's no, it. that's perfect. But you would be surprised. There's a lot of people who agree with you. They think that the gnomes creep them out. See, um, all, yeah. closet gnome haters unite. Yeah, no, they're so together. cute. <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> okay, well, you know, we'll just go with that for now. But okay. yeah, I mean, I will admit, you do have some cute ones. I've seen some cute ones in your booth that I'm like, yeah, if I was going to have to have gnomes, I guess those would be okay. But yeah, there's yeah, just yeah. something about the no eyes. It's the no eyes that freaks me out. <laughs> uh, but you know what? So many people are intimidated doing eyes. I think that's why they, they can relate to the gnomes because they don't have to, to try to make perfect eyes. Well, that but, might very well be. I mean, that's reaching, but that might very well be. No, I think that's it. Uh, Peggy says, can you tell her again? So Peggy obviously is not paying attention to the demo. She's trying to sign up for your VIP. Oh, sure. We can talk no about better. that. She, but she and says, I thought, uh, I thought Ruth was going to try to be on and put the link on, but I Ruth will did. actually, Ruth I did will put, put the, the link. Oh, did she? Okay. So yeah, just click on that link and it's, it's really simple. You're just going to put an email, your name, your mailing address and your credit card information. We will keep that securely on file. We have a, you know, lock fire safe. We'll keep it in. So that way, anytime we do sales and it will, you know, we'll just be able to have a little better instant gratification um, when we're doing this kind of stuff. But you guys, I hope you tune in next week for that sample sale, because this is all stuff that my mom collected over the years. She was a sucker. When she would go and vend at a guild show with a small, the miniature quilt auctions or small quilt auctions, she was a sucker for that stuff. She bought everything that someone did not bid her on. So I have tons and they are so incredibly well made that you're not going to want to miss this sale, especially getting so close to Christmas. If you just need a gift for a quilter, some of these are so unique that I had to really force myself not to keep any of them myself, but I just don't need any more quilts. Okay. Right. <laughs> so. Tammy, you are Tammy, you are a VIP if you ordered today, but you still have to fill out the VIP section. That's and that's so we know that you want to be a part of it so that we can send you the code so that you get your discounts. And trust me, um, if you do order today and you sign up for the VIP, I just now made this up. I'm gonna give you extra 10% off. I'm gonna give you something, girls. I'm gonna give you an extra 10% off. I'm gonna go ahead and give you your VIP discount. If you sign up today and you order today or anytime today, tomorrow, or till midnight Friday. Perfect. I saw that face you made, Beth. I know. I'm trying I know to look at the camera, but I keep. 
<laughs> paycheck. Oh wow, we're we're supposed to get one of those, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like I like to be able to go to the bank at the end of the week. <laughs> oh, well, see, we don't have any banks here, so I didn't even realize that was an option. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it for me. That's all I have. But I'll stick around in case anybody has any questions. Perfect. Sounds good. So I want to just remind you that we do do this Wild Wednesday Live every Wednesday, even when we're at shows, we still do it from behind the scenes. So um, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on YouTube. You'll be able to keep up with whatever's going on. Um, sometimes it's a little bit wild and crazy. Like we're kind of uh, Raylene in her notes to me because, you know, I, I don't do any of the research. Raylene does it for me. Thank God for Raylene. Um, she uh, she put it a little thing saying, I um, come up with a couple of tips, but if not, no biggie. Honestly, if we just survive today, that that'll be a major win. Um, so so that's kind of how we live life. And I, it's like I tell my kids, keep your expectations low and you won't be disappointed with us. Um, but I do want to remind you one thing for me personally is we're doing a live sample sale today at four o'clock. You can follow us on Fabric Chicks right here. Follow us on Facebook, Fabric Chicks at four o'clock today, Pacific Standard Time. We're doing a live kind of auction style sale of finished quilts, all of our finished samples. So join me there. So there's my little plug. But now I'm going to bring everybody back on so that we can um, ask them any questions that you guys have. Oh, Diane, you might be my new favorite. Diane says, commitment is listening to all of us during her granddaughter's basketball game. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. My kids can totally relate. Uh, I Diane, always have my earpiece in. That's why I have long hair. So nobody knows what I'm listening to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, okay. So, he, um, so Sharon isn't going to be joining us, I don't think. I think she was somewhere else. Wait, hang on. She just kicked back in. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right. So she was popped back in. Perfect, perfect. So if you girls have any questions, now's the time to ask them. And we did have a couple of questions for Sharon. Um, turn your volume on. And we did have a couple of questions for Sharon. Um, Look, there's a delay. Got it. I've got to turn the the. My as you guys know we're off. really checky like before sorry, covid we didn't sorry. even know we didn't have to know how to turn our computers oh, on now we have to like know how to do yeah. all this stuff like before, sorry um, okay there that's that should be no bad. that's okay sorry um so we did have a question can they use any type of batting in the microwavable bowls that i've tried it and all batting works except for it, if there's any kind of metal in it which there shouldn't be you're going to be oh, yes, fine. Yeah. Cotton batting I, is best. 100% cotton batting is best. I think you need a batting without a scrim because if it has any polyester in it, that can be bad in a microwave. Better yeah. safe than sorry, girls. Okay, better to be safe than sorry. And can they use a nylon mesh stabilizer when embroidering the cozies? Uh oh. Is she frozen? Okay, girls, type in all your questions. We've got uh, I, I prefer not to do that. Just use cotton if you can, 100% cotton. I'd say better safe than sorry. Nylon will melt. Okay. Um, and then I think that... Um, I think, Linda, you answered the questions pretty good as you were going along. So mm -hmm. I don't think that there's really any questions. Come on, girls. Don't you want to know, like, what her favorite color is or anything? <gasps> oh, more gnomes. No. Yeah. No. I know. You do not like gnomes, Rolene. <laughs> and, Linda, I think you have pre-fused, pre-cut kits for those gnomes, if I remember I correctly. Do. I do. I have pre-cut, fused kits. This is the whole country caboodle. We have Santa gnome, and we have reindeer gnome. Oh Super my goodness. cute. Super cute. And the Ron started the cracking up. old gnomes are freaky. Yes, Rolene. The old style gnomes are freaky. The new yeah. ones are super cute. Get over Some of them are. <laughs> I think they're all cute. They're all um, cute. You know what? Because we as humans are quirky and weird. So they're just like a, an addition of us. Speak for um, yourself, I'm totally normal. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's your story. I'll let you stick to it. Um, is it is it a cotton ball on the gnome? Probably for yeah, Ray I, Lee. Yeah. You know what? I usually just go buy the little bags, and unfortunately, these were kind. Of, they were bigger than what you normally would want. But I said I ran to Walmart. They were out of everything else. But you know, Hobby Lobby usually has the bag with the little the little tiny ones, and those look a lot better. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's just a little cotton ball, and you just you know one dab of glue, and it's on there forever. Yeah. And girls, honestly, you probably have all the supplies to be pretty crafty in your sewing room. Just use your well, imagination. I have to tell you, Beth, though, I was trying when I was making the smaller gnomes, I was trying to trim those little cotton balls down and I'm doing it over the trash can. I'm like, wow, at Fabric Chicks, they would yell at me for letting that little bit of cotton go in the trash. <laughs> I know you could have put it in between some some uh, you guys use everything, <laughs> everything. <laughs> oh no, oh no, Terry. Raylene is totally the normal. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> Making a note, Terry yeah. on the bad list. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, girls. If you don't have any other questions, do you, do you have um nobody's typing anything in. So do you girls have one last thing you want to tell everybody? Words of wisdom. Don't forget to check back um, in about an hour to see if you won a door prize. Um, I have one person who didn't claim it on Monday. Hang on, I want to grab her name. Hang on. Hey, you know what? Raylene is way nicer than me. If you don't claim it, I am not going to track you down. Well, I'm just, since we were coming back on like today, I thought, oh, you know what? I can totally, hang on, I got the wrong paper. I wouldn't normally okay. do this. Okay, um, Pamela Klein. Pamela Klein. Pamela, Pamela Klein. Klein. If you are on, go check out on the, the uh, Wild Wednesday Live page and it'll tell you what to do to claim that you did win a prize. And again, so for today, though, I should have the winners up um, in about an hour. So be sure you come back here to this Facebook page and see if you won. And even if you didn't, you can congratulate the people that did. Okay. Wait, I have a question. Um, so Linda is the... Uh, Dorlin just ordered the dog and fish. Is it a pattern or a kit? So it is the pre-printed batting only. You have to supply your own fabric. So you get the instructions and the pre-printed batting, which is fusible, is what you get in the kits. Okay. And then I do just have one other thing to say. We are having a contest. If I love we, contests. We're having a contest. If we reach a thousand followers on our personal Facebook page, which is K R U U S N, you're only going to find me out there in the world with that kind of spelling. We are going to give a hundred dollar gift certificate to one of our followers. If we reach a thousand followers by the end of December, on our personal, on our business Facebook page, one of you is going to win a hundred dollar gift certificate to our store. Perfect, perfect. That sounds exciting, girls. Go like her Facebook page right now. And then Norma, we're glad that you joined us. We always love to see you. You guys are all like our family. And let's Mo see, Monica. Oh. Don't worry, I got gotcha. And then um, we want you guys to. Um, to be sure to mark your calendars, our next live event is January 27th through the 29th at the Phoenix Fairgrounds. And if you go to the Quilt Craft Sew Mall, which is scrolling on the bottom of the screen, you can see the schedule for the whole year so that you can mark. I mean, if you've got relatives in a different area that's close to where we are, you can schedule your family reunions around our shows. Um, you know, there's lots of fun things that you could do with your girlfriends, somebody's 50th birthday or something. Why wouldn't you want to come see me and Raylene and Sharon and Linda? Life doesn't get better than that. All right. So are you ever in San Diego? No. Um, no, we did <laughs> San Diego a while ago, but I don't know why we're, we don't go back there. It's, but no, we know, don't. I just, yeah, we've never had real good luck in that area for yeah. whatever reason. But hey, you know, one of our vendors lives down that way. So just remember, that's where Big Mat Rotary Cutting Service is based as well. They're in Chula Vista. So if you ever need a mat, you can hook up with her and probably save some shipping. Right, right. Um, 
yeah, I think that a lot of times it just depends on the um, venues, what, what, where we can get into um, and what time of year and all that good stuff. So I don't know. I'm, I'm, oh, parking went up to $15 at the fairgrounds. So by the time it's like the Bay Area, we don't do the San Mateo show because by the time everybody pays to get across the bridge and then you pay $15 for parking, you've already spent half your paycheck before you even visit us. So the, the promoters really do work hard at finding reasonable places to keep our vending fees down and um, and all that good stuff. And and looking out for you guys to make sure that we um, don't have really expensive parking and all that. So that's kind of how they decide where they're going to do the shows. Yeah, we don't want you to be um, broke before you get in the building. <laughs> right, right. Um, yes, they do charge at fairgrounds. Every fairgrounds charges nowadays. Um, all right, so I think that's true. Yeah, true. Yeah, if you all didn't charge, that one was of kind of few. surprising. Yeah. yeah, it's one of the few. Oh, probably because they pay such high taxes, because their taxes were like 10%. 10%. 10%. I know. It's kind of Oregon. We don't pay tax in Oregon. Right. No matter <laughs> what, they're going to get their money one way or another. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. So their little that, letter was waiting for me when I got home. <laughs> What letter? The one to pay my taxes. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. And you only have 10 days, girls. You only have 10 yeah. days from follow up to pay it. Really? I know. That was an eye opener for me one year. Ooh, 10 days after taxes. the event to pay it. Yes. <laughs> Linda, will you be? Our viewers are just thrilled by all this. <laughs> I know. All the behind the scenes. Linda, will you be in Phoenix in January? I will not be. I wish I could be there, but. It's a long haul for you. It's a long haul, and it's right at my busiest retreat time. We have a retreat center here at our store. So if you ever want to sleep above a quilt store, come to the Oregon Coast because we have a retreat center. We can sleep four ladies, and January Perfect. is a busy time for me um, for a retreat. So I will not be in Phoenix. I wish I could be there. Right. It's one of my go-to spots. Do you know what the next show is that you're going to be at with the Rusty Barnes? So crafts. I am working on my application right now. I'm probably Portland in April. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. yeah. It's hard time to make a commitment. I hear, I hear contracts. Are I know, yesterday. Time to make a commitment. I'm getting hold of my employees. I got to have somebody to watch the store. I, yeah, I know it is. Yeah, that is a dilemma for those of us that also have an actual walk-in retail store. It's it's not as flexible, especially ha uh, being hard getting employees. Well, so, yeah, and and yeah, so we yeah. do have a store here in Coos Bay. Right, and, right, and that makes it more difficult. I didn't used to have a store. I used to just be able to travel from show to show, and right now yeah. you're committed for life. I am committed. Yes. All right. So I think, it, well, that's good. As long as you love getting up and going to work every day, it shows. I live Amir, upstairs. Lee, you love it. I live upstairs. I just crawl out of bed. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> I roll out of bed and walk down to the store every day. Nice. With your cup of coffee and your slippers still on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for all of the um, door prizes. The ladies love them. Oh, Norma, I love you. Norma's going to see to make arrangements for what show she can go to next year. Go Yay. right now, girls, and put it on your schedule. All Even right. On your calendars. Yes. And, and Raylene, who do we have for next week? Or do we want to keep it secret? No, we can tell. We have, um, hang on, I have my folder right here. We have uh, Bella Mama is going to have some great deals on um, her fantastic biscotti and her muffins and cookies, mm -hmm. which are great Christmas gifts. We waited for our food vendors till, you know, towards the end of the, when we got a little bit closer. So we have Bella Mama. We also have uh, Yasmita from Yazzie Bags has got some great last minute gifts. And we have Beth from the Fabric Chicks, but we don't know what she's doing because I don't know that she even knew that she was scheduled, but she's scheduled for next week. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm, so excited. I'm so excited. The email. <laughs> I should open those emails once in a while. Um, uh, actually, I just sent it five minutes before the show started. So you haven't oh, seen it yet. Okay. All right. Well, um, Linda, are you doing the Boise show? 
Okay, here's my dilemma. I have a huge off-site retreat that ends two days before the Boise show starts. Oh, that's no, no, no biggie at all. Lots of time. Lots, Lots of time. time. You yeah. can sleep when you're I'm, dead. I'm, yeah. I really want to do the Boise show because that's not too far from me. Yes. And I am it's trying so to work it out to be able to do that. And okay. A lot of viewers in that area. So they would like that. I do. I do. Yeah. So Linda Holagner, she might be there. It's a definite maybe. A All definite right. Maybe. Definite maybe. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, everybody, make sure that you go on and like our Facebook page and our YouTube page. And we will see you next, next week at two. All right. Have a great week. Get some sewing done. Bye. Bye Merry Bye. Christmas. Merry, oh, happy holidays.